Hello my people, Coach Bradley here. Today, I told you guys we were gonna do punch logistics. Really giving you concepts and a little bit of theory to help you understand what does having proper punch logistics mean. I'm gonna get into that, but before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself. For those of you who never watch our feed and our page, boy, you are late to the dance. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley. This is what we're gonna get into. Specifically, today I'm wearing a Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather shirt. Manny Pacquiao, when it comes to concepts, he was one of the faster, overall abundant punches in boxing history. Reminds me of some guys like Henry Armstrong, who just really let him go. Didn't think twice, he was coming to the dance. He's bringing that heat. Then you look at people like Floyd Mayweather, who was very calculated with his punches and would hit you with the cleanest technical punch that you could possibly think of getting hit by. But one thing that speaking to this technique is all about, and my people inside of the School of Boxing, big shouts out. And for those of you who need to understand it more, plan on getting better, make sure you check us out, theschoolofboxing.com. What we do is just not boxing. We do a lot more. And when it comes down to the logistics of punching, you must understand there are levels to this game. And you must understand them. So first, you wanna go and understand the technique. So, 10 and two. But you gotta be able to take in more of the information when it comes down to your offense and your defense. It has to play and sing in the same choir when it's all said and done. So when you're throwing a jab in concept, that's your, that's your, I mean, in technique, that's your, boom. That's your technique to throw the jab. But in concept, you understand. I score, I block at the same time, and I'm in another position, all in one motion. Boom, pop, and here, and control. Understanding when you are doing it for technical purposes. Why you can't be the guy who understands theory. You can have all the technique in the world. Understanding when to utilize it is, is the thing that you have to realize that you're lacking in. That's why in the course, in our school, you're learning technique first. Because if you have reservations about theory and not understanding, you're, you're, you don't have confidence so you have to have confidence in your skill. So when you think about Floyd or people that you really like, Canelo, who really will hit you in a way to make you think. Today I'm gonna to show you a one, and you see, and not only am I throwing the jab, but I'm eluding your punch, and I'm getting ready to set up. So if I come here, and then I can come back up here, boom! Now you see right here, for the most part, most people throw that shoulder. When they throw that punch, their shoulder's low. So there's a counter right here. So when I throw that, I'm waiting for that shot. Ricochet, keep your head on the swivel. That's what you call rubbernecking. Boom, 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 rubberneck. So when you throw that shot, if they throw a shot, it's off the rubber, bam. And then you scoop right up under, come around and throw. Every single punch, when you understand, not only technique, but theory. Shout out, let me know where you guys are from. This is the Shadow Box Series. Today we're covering, covering the punch logistics. Now we're gonna add the two behind it. So, the balls of the feet. That's one and a two. Once again, no hook. If I'm here, I can get clipped with the hook. Right? Smart, theory, I understand what I'm doing. I could beat anyone standing in front of me with a one and a two based upon concept and theory. And you do have to learn all of the techniques first. Forget about it. Don't even try to do it without having the techniques down 
Because if you don't understand what happens behind each movement, and then, and you under there. So remember your base has to be set. Look at that base, you see it? And here what we call arm guard. So elbow point, point one, point two. Up here, shoulder, here, shoulder. Now you got elbow guard. Cross block, turtle, peekaboo. All of those fall up under that concept. So now you have a concept theory. All of that comes together. But with just the technique, all you can do is throw the shot and hope for the best. Thing is, when I throw this one and a two, check it, boom, boom. I'm ready for the three. Counter right there. If I'm here, I'm counter. If I come back up, I can get ready to throw this here. High, bam, or low, boom. And once again, drop, whoosh, slide out, bam. That's it, keep it simple. For those of you who did not take the time to look at the hand wrapping video because the views was low, make sure you do that because I gave you the art of wrapping your hands the right way. Someone from the medical field who wrapped broken hands for a while understands the concepts of wrapping them the right way. So looking forward to Power Hands is gonna sponsor a video shoot simulcast sometime next week I'll put the date up there so shouts out to power hands make sure when you go into the gym wear your mask stay tuned continue to follow us at master boxing across the board and for those who are looking to learn how to throw those punches make sure and you need that theory and concept come join us over in the school of boxing for the rest of this series will be taking place on a weekly basis until next time tag a friend who loves boxing we out of here peace